Hello, this is Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Soulhenge and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now today I wanted to um, share my feelings with you on the energetic shift that I feel has occurred within the last two days. And what I feel that's happened within that shift is we've literally moved from a reality and a paradigm that was very structured and understood by us on one level into this liminal in-between space where we don't quite know what's going on because and, and this liminal in-between space is obviously an interim period until we move into the next paradigm which we haven't created yet so we're in this liminal space where the world as we knew it has literally crumbled away and this can feel pretty frightening. It can even feel very unsettling and frightening for people who've been well aware that the structures of our old paradigm have not been working for the highest good of all for a long time. But I think it's clear to people, even if they're not on, or they wouldn't consider themselves to be on the spiritual path, or they wouldn't consider them, themselves to be open-minded, um, even people who are very much rooted or have been rooted in the third dimensional reality, even they can see now that the structures that we've adhered to, the systems that we've um, been conditioned to believe in have all completely, to all intents and purposes, failed. They're gone. They've just literally fallen apart. So, you know, the financial system, the system of work, uh, the educational system, the health system, the system of what we thought was our freedom. You know, all of these kind of systems have just completely malfunctioned. That paradigm, that third dimensional paradigm has basically gone and the world as we have known it to be exists no more. So we're now in this liminal space. And I think if you are on this path of self-actualization, realization and awakening, this will be more obvious to you than for other people. Other people are just feeling frightened and they don't quite know who to believe and who to turn to. And, you know, the, the fabric of their reality is really changing and they don't really understand why. But if you're on this path, you do have an understanding that we are shifting into something new. So now we're at this liminal space, this void, if you like, of in between where the old no longer exists, but the new hasn't been created yet. And what I see is a direct manifestation of being within this liminal space and the confusion of not knowing what's going to happen next. And in fact, there, be, there being no happening next yet is that it's manifesting as chaos in the world. So we've got some massive chaos going on. There is literally civil unrest and protests and riots going on all over the world right now. And there is a lot of confusion and unrest um, going on within us as well. We literally do not know what's going to happen next. And my call to you in making this video is to look at this liminal space, this abyss that is now kind of in front of us. We're standing on a precipice of a, an abyss, an empty abyss, and we literally do not know what's going to happen next. And what this video is calling you to do is to step into the excitement of that and understand that what happens in the next phase is completely and utterly up to you. And this is the really exciting thing because as we stand in the unknown, we can either choose to look at it as fearful or excite, excite, excitement, you know, as an excited feeling or a fearful feeling. And if you think about and feel the, the difference between fear and excitement, they're pretty close. You know, 
fear gives your whole body a thrill and excitement gives your whole body a thrill as well. They're very close in nature. And I'm calling you to choose excitement. And in that excitement, you're facing your fears, you're choosing excitement. And I'm asking you to step into the abyss of the unknown and create the reality that you have always dreamed of. And I'm seeing different people beginning to do this now. I'm seeing people who don't like the way, or they, or they don't like the way the systems have been run. They see the systems are falling apart and they're setting up new systems. Um, I've just been talking to um, Iconic Media. It's a new media platform that's being created which will allow freedom of speech. Um, MeWe, a new social media platform where they won't sell your information. Um, me, I'm, I'm doing online classes and connecting loads of people and we're all having a great time meditating together. I'm looking at different people, and those are the examples I can just think of off the top of my head, but I'm looking at different people who are beginning to go, well, there's nothing in this space, so I think I'll put something in that space. And they're stepping into co-creating a reality that suits them better. And you know, we've seen polls, people do not want to go back to living their lives they, the way they were. You know, for many people that entailed four hours of commuting, doing a job they didn't even really like, giving most of their money, time and effort to a company they didn't really believe in, and getting a few minutes in the evening with their family before crashing out in exhaustion and starting the whole thing again. People don't wanna go back to that way of life. They've had a pause and they can see it's possible to work in a different way and, Potentially their way of working has been completely taken away from them. And so now, instead of looking at that from the old paradigm of fear, help, how am I gonna feed my family? We've all now got the opportunity to look at all of these, what we, what we could consider to be problems in a new way. They're openings for us. And I'm calling all of you to step in and create whatever you want. It's such an amazing opportunity. Literally, that abyss, the abyss of the new paradigm is waiting for us to create it. It's the most extraordinary opportunity that we have ever been given. And, and as each one of us steps into the fear of the unknown, we realize that fear is just a sensation and it doesn't really have a hold over us because the minute you step you know, into or face your fears, they dissipate. And the whole thing is, if you've done meditating, which you must have done because you're on this channel, you'll know from having hopefully spent a good amount of your time going into that liminal space of the void, that the void is the place of pure positive infinite potentials. We don't want to be creating our new fifth dimensional paradigm from memories and conditioning and beliefs, programs and habits of the old fear control matrix paradigm. We don't want to carry that into this space that we're now in because we don't want to create from the old. We want to literally allow that all to dissipate and create from pure presence, which is what the void is, from the presence of not being attached to anything that has gone before and not being scared about what may come in the future. And we can't be scared about what's gonna come in the future because we literally have no idea what this paradigm is going to be. And the past, if you weren't ready to let go of it, it is literally being ripped out from underneath your feet. You know, people are literally having the fabric of their old realities whoosh, taken away from them. I mean, it's huge and it is certainly not easy. You know, loads of people are really struggling and suffering with the new challenges that are being presented. But the reason that they're struggling and suffering is because they're rooted in the old paradigm and the habits and thought structures that are associated with that. And the habits and thought structures that were associated with that are all, um, in, you know, 
immersed in that survival mechanism, in the egoic constructs that we must survive at all costs and we must cling to what we know because if we go into the unknown, it's, it's dangerous. Well, the thing is, we're in the unknown now, we're in it. So we, as the light workers, as the people who have trained ourselves to sit within the void of our own being, we now need to step forward and start planting beautiful seeds about how we would like our lives to be. And as we do that, we assist others in seeing that it's possible so that they too can step out of that paradigm of fear and survival mode and control, which actually doesn't even exist anymore, and begin to walk with us into this new paradigm. So I'm really aware that it's, it feels very scary. And I have had very, some very fearful moments myself. Obviously, you know, I'm a human being and I too am pulling myself up and out of this old paradigm, which is what I've known for thousands of years. You know, it's, it's, it's what I've known. But I think the meditation and the shamanic training and the work that I've done have, have brought me ever closer and more and more in touch to being within the void of my own existence and understanding that I'm the creator of my reality from that pure presence, which is the void. So if you see something that you want done in the world differently, you go and do it. This is the thing, you've got the opportunity now to go and do it. If you see that you want your life to be different, change it, this is the time. And what I believe is that like any new civilization that is being birthed, those that have the courage to step forward first are going to, um, you know, bear fruit more quickly, if you like. It's going to be easier for those of us that step into the new paradigm with courage and, um, you know, make our footprints um into that reality, it's, it's going to be wonderful for us because we're going to be able to create things anew and afresh. And I think, you know, the systems that we create now are going to be so gorgeous. You know, they're going to be so abundant and plentiful for all. And it's up to us to create the reality that we want to see next. So if you are feeling scared, from this liminal space of not knowing what on earth is gonna happen next. And we really do not know what's gonna happen next. Then face your fear, jump off the cliff and start creating as the quantum manifester that you are. And you must be feeling by now and noticing how quickly synchronicities are arriving you know we are getting faster and faster and faster so long as you're creating this new paradigm of reality from your heart center it will happen very speedily for you and in a really beautiful way because the fifth dimension is all about heart-centered present moment alignment and the minute you get into your heart center you come into the present moment and if you create from your heart center things manifest really quickly they're manifesting instantly it's getting so fast that it's just incredibly joyful to see all the synchronicities you know coming up and keep checking yourself check yourself for blocks and difficult emotions and as per my last few videos if you feel something up coming up that's blocking you, that's pulling you out of your heart center, go into it, clear it, clear it from your system. Understand it's the old way of being. It's revealing itself to you so that you can um, cleanse it and clear it and bring it back into wholeness and then step into a new way of being from your heart center. So I'm really encouraging you not to be fearful at this stage to be excited and full of expectation and to become the co-creator of our new paradigm that is just, wow, unfolding before us. So I hope this message has been um, exciting for you and uplifting for you. I'm feeling incredibly uplifted and happy right now. Things are shifting at such an exponential rate and I wish you all 
um, my deepest heartfelt thanks and love for all the work that you're doing out in the world and enjoy your next steps into the new dimension. <laughs>